I'm Matt. I'm Lauren. We, we are, are YAH, YAH Adventures. Adventures. Beautiful fall morning. I got partially down the road, said goodbye to Jesus at this lovely albergue de Roc, San Roc, in Casada de Coto. This Camino is a new um, chapter in my life. So it starts, <laughs> it's a start, it's a new start. Anyway, I realized I left my sticks behind. There we go. <laughs> what a great, great experience being in this little town. Only two other pilgrims stayed here because everybody else wants to go further. And I sometimes want to go further and forget. I'm not here to race these people. I'm here to experience. The journey is the destination, but sad to say goodbye. There's the village back over there, right? have to go over to the on-ramp over there. <laughs> That's how I came in last night, on this on-ramp. There's no trail up here. Look, look over here. Look, check this out. I suppose, I'll climb over here so nobody hits me. I could go down, I might just do that. This trail goes right down there. Okay, that's a little steep, so I'm gonna be using the sticks. This is not the Camino proper, as you can see. It's uh, we're down in this sort of, depression on either side of two on-ramps. Right over here was the sign, I think. Oh, yeah, I'm already down to the road. I don't have to cross. Oh, yeah, I do have to cross. Well, shit, this was a mistake. This was a mistake. All right, now how do I get over there? <laughs> do I want to go down here and run across and then go back up? I could do that, it's not too busy today. I'm not going to tell my wife about this till after she sees the video. She'll... If this doesn't kill me, my wife will. <laughs> Nobody's coming. Getting to the median will be easy. We've got a guardrail over there. That'll be fun. All right, let's do this. Nothing like crossing a big, busy highway like a cat. Uh, this side's a little busier. And getting over here is gonna be too much fun. I'm gonna have to take my pack off, unless I wanna crawl under. Well, let's try to, let's try that. Nobody's coming, I'm gonna crawl under. Let's go. Can I get, oh, my pack's gonna get, nah, my pack's gonna get caught. It's all right, I'm across. See, so I started over there. Now I gotta go up this way. <laughs> what a dumbass. Buen Camino! Now I just gotta get up there. I guess I could climb up there. I'm gonna have to shut you off while I climb up there. Okay, we climbed up there. That was not fun. Right over there, you can see the sign now, the side of it, the Camino sign. That's no Camino sign, that's just the traffic sign to this place where I stayed. But look, there's the arrow. Pointing the way I walked last yesterday, I walked along this shoulder. So if I get over this guardrail and follow the shoulder, I don't even want to get over the guardrail. Just stay inside the guardrail. Maybe follow it all the way back. Camino connects. Clear the hell down there. I was wrong. It's not that way. It's this way. I think I got. I hope I didn't get a cut in the nose. I got a pretty sharp branch smacked me in the face. See, this back here. That's where I thought I was when I was clear on the other side of the freeway. <laughs> this is too much fun. This is kind of adventure we seek. There it is. This is where I was yesterday before I headed up. So, came down that trail. Now we got to cross the busy traffic. It does say precaution into session. Oh, 
All right, this is the route proper. Just to clear up, there's a bus stop, a little bus stop right over there. When you get there, you wanna stay on this road and come here because then back that way, it turns off and goes down that way where those lovely pilgrims are going. What I did last night was I went up this way to go to uh, Casada de Coto. That's the Roman route. Same distance, but not as many services. So you have longer stretches with no services. Ah, the familiar yellow arrow. Yeah, this is a very confusing place. As you can see, I stayed, at, I, as you note from the previous video, I stayed at Calzada del Coro. We're trying to get to Barcianos del Real Camino and then on to Reliegos. We can always go this way and skip Reliegos. I do know from my app that there is a little trail that leads off here. It's a beautiful morning, look at the colors. And uh, about six kilometers that way is what we're going for our first stop. Walking next to cornfields. Cornfields make me think of my dad. Because cornfields make me think of Field of Dreams, Field of Dreams thinks of dad, and so I've been seeing cornfields and kind of like, okay, hi dad. I wonder what sort of magic is in that corn. 360.7 kilometers, you lie in fate. I happen to know it was 360 back where I started. There's a message in here under other graffiti, so it's kind of like a pamphlet set. If you don't know what a pamphlet set is, it's uh, when you find like the ancient documents where they can see evidence that something was written underneath the writing that you see, sometimes erased or covered over in some way. And then they've been able to read and say, what did they really intend before they wrote over it? There are only two mistakes that we can make on the road to truth. Not going all the way, not starting. Entering Persianos de Real, Real Camino, and it is kind of a cold night, cold day, whatever. We are greeted by a guard dog. Hey, puppy. Let's go in here. So I stopped in this little albergue to get something to eat and get uh, just some nourishment, basically. We're gonna head on. We have 20 kilometers left today, and we're probably gonna get in a little later than normal, but. Everybody has moved on. Yeah. It's just me, as usual. That's how he came in. Camino goes right through town and we're going on that way. Where we have these places where the old meets the new, and then back over here to the old. hobbled today. Got a little pain in my upper left thigh, almost just below the hip. Something's getting pinched there. I also have a little pain in my right ankle. I've been stretching them out, seems to be working. They're not clicking or popping. I think I'm okay so far, but... Uh, now we're out of town. Six kilometers to the next stop. Some people say you come out, you get closer to God out here in La Maceda. I'm not sure, but I'll tell you this. I met a man back uh, a couple days, oh gosh, almost over a week ago. He was a Christian. 
And he had that absolute confidence and absolute certainty that very devout Christians have. Certainty in his beliefs, certainty in his ideas. Part of me envied him that certainty, and part of me pitied him that certainty. I envied him because I think certainty is a form of ignorance, and I think ignorance is bliss. I think the more certain you are of something, the more you close your mind to other things, and you, you remain ignorant of those things, and you are in a state of bliss. I know, I know. I don't need to know anything else. So I envied him that, which is, it's a blissful state. But I also kind of pitied him because once you get in that state of certainty and close yourself off and you don't hear other things or don't see other things, you miss things. I'm trying not to miss things. I think the graffiti says El Camino is the best, but that S looks a little bit like an A, so I like maybe El Camino is the beat. <laughs> storm brewing up there, Bessie. We better get you in the barn. Sato wears on your head. But I know in Galicia there are forests, beautiful, enchanted forests. Can't wait to walk through those. kilometers of this. 12 kilometers, no services, no water. Just what I have in my backpack. This is Camino. a few sprinkles. I don't know what the weather's gonna do, but I got a few drops earlier, so uh, better safe than sorry, right? I'm only gonna make it through this big section if I rest a lot, so. Look at this piece of Spain. It's just so bleak right now, but there are trees up there to break up this joyous vastness. Little break in the inaction. This is kind of a nice little tree oasis. No idea how far away I am. Looks like the rain's not gonna, it came just a little, I don't know if you can see right there, that's the city. It's about an hour away by foot. But look beyond all those mountains way over there. That's what awaits us after Leon. About 35 miles away. No, 35 minutes away. 35 miles would kill me. It's getting cool, but we're hot. We're taking off our jacket, taking off our rain. I think the rain's done. Five o'clock in the evening. What a day of walking this has been. According to the map, it's one kilometer that way, but look, I see nothing. I see no evidence of a town. Where is this town?
I'm about done with the Camino. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with me. I'm just going to power through and finish it so I can say I did something nobody else, most of the people I know, won't do. But I'm not special. It doesn't make me any better or worse. Thousands of Compostellas are given out every year. All I am is on blend with the trend. I'm not special. I'm just going to finish it so I can say I finished it. Fuck it.